Hello everyone and welcome to another Pokemon Showdown battle. Again, like the second battle I think it was, I'm on the other side for some reason, so don't blame me, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, again I'm using my Data Dex team and the opponent is using a good setup really, Volcarona, Greninja, etc. So let's just get this battle straight off and we shall see where we get to. So he starts off with Lucario, I go with my Klefki as usual, I go for my Spikes and set up there, and he goes for a Dark Pulse, which I resist, so... And then I go for more spikes, um, just, you know, to whack it up. He goes for a nasty plot, so I know it's a special attack in Lucario, so there's no point me using, using nasty plot here. Um, so I then go for a draining kiss and regain some of my half points back. And then he uses nasty plot again, so I thought, okay, he's trying to set up on me here. So I use another draining kiss just to see if I can do something here. He goes for another nasty plot, so he's got maximum special attack now. I go for another draining kiss, almost taking him out. And I think then next turn he goes for a dark pulse and doesn't quite take me out there. Um, and then my Draining Kiss almost takes him out there, not quite. Uh, and then he goes for Dark Pulse and finishes me off there. So he's down to 3% health. Um, so I think Klefki did pretty well there, all the best they could. Uh, I come with Lucario and Mega Revolve it and go for my Extreme Speed, and that takes Lucario out. I went for that just because I knew I needed to take Lucario out, otherwise he's going to sweep. Guard of War comes out uh, and Mega Revolves, and I decided my best chance here was to go to Crunch, and it does quite a lot of damage here. He goes for a Psychic and takes down to 1% health. I wasn't using the Sash or anything, so it's very lucky on my part. He sends his Scizor out. I go for another Crunch, because I knew it was faster. And um, then I think I switch out. Oh no, I don't switch out. I go for Close Combat, because I know whatever hits me next, I'm going to die, so I may as well go for Close Combat to lower my defenses. And I take the Scizor out. Out comes a Volcarona, which I know is just going to sweep me with a, a fire type move if I don't do anything. Or so I go, for, I go for the extreme speed, I think it was, and do a decent amount of damage to it. And then send my Ex Excadrill out. I have a big problem with Volcaronas or fire types in general on my team, so I go straight for the Rock Slide and take it out. Troll with fire types as like four of my Pokemon are weak to them, and I have no good strengths against them, apart from Earth, uh, ground moves. Anyway, so he sends his Greninja out, I switch out to my Chestnut, he gets for a Grass Knot and changes to the Grass type. So I know I can't particularly use my Leech Seed, so I go for a Spiky Shield, he goes for an Ice type and goes for Ice Beam. I know he's an Ice type now, so I go and sort of hope that he's going to stay as an Ice type, which he does. And I go out to 1% health, I'm very lucky again, he goes for a Leech Seed again, which isn't going to help me a huge amount because I'm really low on health already. So I go for another Spiky Shield I think, yep indeed I do, and he goes for an Ice Beam. And obviously Spiker Shield protects me. And not much is happening here because I'm just trying to stall him out, which is not going to happen because the Ice Beam is you know, powerful. So I go and switch out to Reuniclus. He goes for an Ice Beam, so I think, okay, he's an Ice type at the moment, maybe use another Ice Beam. So I go for a Focus Blast. He actually goes and uses a Dark type move, and obviously becomes a Dark type. I resist it pretty well, and then I finish him off with a Focus Blast, which is super effective because of his Dark type. So yeah. Then he sends out his Excadrill. Which, uh, obviously I think, okay, I'll use Focus Blast on. He uses a Rock Slide and just about takes me out there. So then I switch out to my, probably my Gliscor. Yep, my Gliscor there. And I get Gliscor to use an Earthquake, and that takes get Extra Drill out, because there wasn't an Air Balloon there at all. And it would have been gone anyway, I think. I'm not sure, maybe, I don't know. Toxic Orb activates, and he actually forfeits. So that was a kind of anticlimactic end to that battle. Um, because he still has Guard of War left, but I'm pretty sure I would have taken the Guard of War out. I'm pretty sure Gliscor would have been faster than it, so I would have just gone for a simple Earthquake and taken the, uh, the Guard of War out. So, yeah, it's a bit of an anticlimactic battle this one, because obviously he forfeits in the end. But yeah, it was a good game. Um, obviously I would have won in the end. I'm pretty sure I would have, would have won. I think I'm allowed to say that. But yeah, thanks you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the battle, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.